Good morning, everyone. I am making my favorite chicken cheese enchilada soup, or it might be cheese chicken enchilada soup. Oh, well. I got this recipe from a friend of mine, Crystal Brown, and I have made this for years. It is the best soup, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I have a little bit of olive oil going on, and I'm gonna dump one small onion in there. I'm going on my walk this morning, and I thought I would just throw this soup on real quick, and yes, it is that quick. So I'm gonna saute this just for a minute. I'm gonna add my garlic. And then what I'm gonna do is turn my camera back on when I've got this kind of nice and brown. Okay, I'm back. And the onion and garlic have cooked for a couple of minutes here. Everything looks kind of golden brown. So literally, I'm just gonna dump ingredients in and let it go for an hour and a half. So I've got my water. Be careful, your pan is hot when you add. Turn my heat up just a bit. I'm going to add a can of chicken broth, a can of beef broth, this is so easy and so good. I'm going to add a can of green chilies. You can up your heat here if you buy the hot ones. I am going to add a can of cream of mushroom soup. I'm sorry, cream of chicken soup. There's just so many flavors going on in this soup. All right, I love this long little soup scraper. So great, all right. I am going to add my chili powder, my cumin and my pepper. Let's see, on my steak sauce, I need one tablespoon. It takes this A1 steak sauce. I think this is such, this might be what the flavor is that just makes this so yummy. Let's add that in. And then two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Let's add that in. There's one. Make sure you buy your soups, low fat and low sodium to keep your soups, um, you know, lower in calorie. Once you add all the spices and stuff, you can't really tell that it doesn't have full fat or whatever. Okay, now at this time, it calls for six and three-fourths can of chicken, and I don't ever buy canned chicken. So of course I used my little scale like I always do and I bought a rotisserie chicken and I measured out seven ounces. All right. That's it. This soup is gonna simmer at about an hour and a half and then at the very end, I'm gonna add my cheese and strips of corn tortilla. It's so good. So I'll show you that step when we get there. Okay, everyone. The soup has been on for about an hour and a half. And the last thing you do is add two to three cups of cheese. I use American cheese that I buy from the deli in a block and shred it. It's boar's head and it's all natural American cheese. I think it's the best flavor for the soup, but you can use any cheese you want. Um, I know um, Crystal Brown, I think she uses Velveeta when she makes it. It calls for two to three cups. I'm adding two cups. And 
and just stir that in. Ooh, this smells so good. And then it takes six corn tortillas and you cut them in strips like this. And I'm gonna add those. And now you let the soup go for about 10 more minutes. And then top it with all of your favorite toppings and um, enjoy it. It is such a good soup. I hope you guys all try it.